In this video, I'm going to show you how to change the name servers of a domain that's registered with Namecheap. By default, when you register a domain in Namecheap, it uses Namecheap's domain name servers to keep track of all the DNS records and entries that you have. Some services require or prefer that you use their service to manage the DNS entries instead of the registrar's DNS servers. For this example, I'm going to show you how to move the DNS servers over to Rackspace Cloud's DNS service, but any service such as Bluehost or a domain name parking page, they just provide you with those domain name servers and you just enter those entries into the control panel. The process is exactly the same. So I've already logged into my Rackspace Cloud account here. I'm going to click on the networking section here and select Cloud DNS. I don't have any entries yet because I haven't moved any DNS over to Rackspace. So I'm going to click on this link, uh, help me with Rackspace name servers, because we need to find out what the servers are. So here we can see the Rackspace name servers, dns1.stabletransit.com and dns2.stabletransit.com. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this so I can paste it into my Namecheap control panel. So here's the domain that I want to manage, sfdresscode.com, which is the domain I registered in an earlier video. I'm going to click the Manage button here, and it's going to bring up some information about the domain name. If we scroll down here, we see a section called Name Servers, and it just has Namecheap default selected. I'm actually going to click on here and select Custom. And here you can see we have options to put in name servers. Typically, there will only be two name servers, but sometimes there can be more than that. And if there are, you can just click this plus to add more name servers than just two, but we'll just add two for this example. So I'm gonna paste the first one and copy and select the second one. And I'm gonna paste that there. After I put this information in, it's important that I click this checkbox to save the, the entries. And that's pretty much all there is to changing the name servers. As you can see up here, it is warning us that it could take up to 48 hours for the name servers to switch. Typically, I've seen it only take a few minutes or up to a few hours. But um, once this information has propagated, the new service will be taking over the DNS entries. So anything that you put in the advanced DNS section, it won't take effect because Namecheap will no longer be managing the DNS entries for this domain name. And if you notice, if I try to go here and put in DNS entries, it says that um, we'd have to transfer the DNS back to Namecheap in order to add DNS entries, which is normal. So then you would use the other service, whether it's the Rackspace Cloud DNS in my example, or Bluehost or some other service, those would now be in control of the DNS entries for that domain name. And if you ever wanted to change it back, all you would have to do is go back to that manage page. And then you can just select here and change this back from custom back to the name cheap default. Just be sure to click this check to save the settings. And that's how you change the name servers within the name cheap control panel. Be sure to check out some of my other guided videos.